Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to discuss about bad crankshaft position sensor and why it fails. The crankshaft position sensor is usually mounted near the harmonic balancer or somewhere around the uh, bell housing. The crankshaft position sensor works together with a timing system and when it starts to fail, it's going to exhibit a few symptoms. And the most common symptom is going to be intermittent stalling. For example, let's just say you're driving down the highway and you have electrical power, there's no issue at all, the battery light is not on, and you're stepping on the gas pedal and has sufficient power and the engine is not acting up and performance is fine. And let's just say you are driving and suddenly you, you suddenly lose complete power and the engine turn off. Most likely the issue is going to be caused by a failing crankshaft position sensor. The reason why your vehicle stalls, especially when you're driving, is because signal gets cut off. For example, this is the crankshaft position sensor and this is your harmonic balancer. As you can see here, it also, it's also a reluctor as well. Each of this two for right here is going to represent a position. So every time, so every time it reaches to the top end position, it's going to send a signal to the crankshaft position sensor that everything's at top dead center. When everything's at top dead center, the signals get sent to the computer, basically the ECM, the ECM is going to tell the fuel ejector to fire. So when there's a problem with your crankshaft position sensor or some sort, some sort of an interference that caused your crankshaft position sensor to not work properly, what's going to happen is that if there's an issue over here, signal cannot be sent to the ECM. And when signal cannot be sent to the ECM, it cannot command the uh, fuel injector to fire. This is why you're going to have that intermittent stalling. So you're having intermittent problem, that means the engine can start. Let's just say you start your engine and it's running for a while, let's just say a good minute or so. So what you can do is you can grab the wire, the connection, just wiggle it around and you can kind of tug it a little bit. You can also get yourself a screwdriver, tap on the crankshaft position sensor. And if the engine stalls when, when you wiggle the wire or you pull on it a little bit or you tap on the crankshaft position sensor, Two things can happen. Either you got a wire issue or the crankshaft position sensor is actually failing, especially when you start to tap on it. Of course, if you see oil built up on this crankshaft position sensor or the wire is soaked in oil or engine oil, you can use carburetor cleaner, you could also use throttle body cleaner, and you can just go ahead and just spray like what I did before and try to clean up as much as I can. Because if it's completely soaked in oil, it can actually cause the signal to be interrupted and it can affect the function of the uh, crankshaft position sensor. The second common cause is going to be the wire. Usually the crankshaft position sensor is, is mounted on the harmonic balancer and it's always exposed to engine heat. So what happened to these wires over here, these, the wire starts to crack and break and it starts to become open. So sometimes when it's open, these two wires can, that are exposed can touch each other and that can short out the uh, signal. Also, if it's completely worn out, sometimes the wire can break off and cause the ground to be missing or power to be missing or even a signal wire could be missing as well. So that's why you always want to check the wire and the connection and make sure that's not the problem. Another common problem could be a harmonic balancer problem. For example, the harmonic balancer has these little tooth on it. If one of these tooth become damaged or let's just say a lot of dirt get built up on it, that can cause the signal to be interfered, especially when it's hitting over there. And that also can cause the signal to cut off. Another possibility is that since most harmonic balancers come with these rings over here, let's just say this ring starts to fail, it'll come out of place. When it comes out of place, it can throw the whole timing off. Again, sending improper signal to the ECM, and the ECM kind of send proper signal to the fuel ejector, therefore causing that stalling or intermittent stalling. Another possibility is that your crankshaft position sensor can become damaged. Let's just say you have a timing belt system. Let's just say this is the uh, timing belt and somehow the timing belt becomes worn. What happens if this rubber belt timing, the rubber timing belt becomes worn, it can start to slap all over the crankshaft position sensor. It can cause it to fail or it can throw a lot of material on it and cause the uh, signal to become interfere. So sometimes it's not always the crankshaft position sensor, but it could be a, a, an external factor that's affecting the uh, crankshaft position sensor. Of course, when you got a bad crankshaft position sensor, it can cause a lot of different symptoms besides having intermittent problems. For example, you can have 
long crank time, just trying to start your engine, it takes a long time to start up. That can also be a possibility that the crankshaft position sensor is causing an issue. Also, let's just say if it's completely fell or let's just say signal got completely off, cut off for good, it's gonna cause a no start and your engine will not start at all. The quickest way to check if your crankshaft position sensor is failing is to use a noise light. So what we learned earlier is that the ECM command the fuel injector to fire. So every time this fuel injector is command, it should give some sort of a signal or power. So let's just say if you take this um, noise light over here and you connect it to one of the wires on one of the wire and the other one on the other one, and every time it hits top dead center, a signal should be sent to the fuel injector. So every time that is sent, the noise light over here should flash. If you hook this up over here on the fuel injector and you're trying to start your engine and it doesn't flash at all, then you know it is missing that signal and you know it's most likely it's going to be caused by a bad crankshaft position sensor or some sort of interference. I hope you found this useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.